Have you ever wondered if we are truly alone in the universe? This question has echoed through the ages, whispered by philosophers beneath the stars, penned by poets in the quiet of the night, and pondered by scientists in the hush of their laboratories. But what if the cosmos we gaze upon is not a vast, silent void, but a cradle nurturing a multitude of civilizations, not just our own? Picture, if you will, a cosmic cradle, gently rocking in the vast expanse of space. Within this celestial nursery, stars are born, planets form, and life, in all its myriad forms, blossoms. Each world is a unique jewel, strung along the cosmos, shimmering with the potential for life, for intelligence, for civilization. Now imagine that Earth is just one of these many jewels. We are not an isolated island, but a part of a complex network of civilizations, woven together in the cosmic tapestry. We share this universe with countless other worlds, each with its own story, its own journey, its own destiny. But here's a thought that's even more tantalizing. What if the development of human civilization was not merely by chance, but the design of far more advanced alien architects? What if these extraterrestrial shapers have been guiding our evolution, influencing our culture, and even tinkering with our genetic makeup? These are not mere flights of fancy, but theories that are gaining traction, underpinned by ancient myths, historical anomalies, and scientific mysteries. From the Sumerian gods who descended from the heavens, to the Egyptian pyramids aligned with the stars, to the Dogon tribe's astonishing knowledge of the Sirius star system, there are tantalizing hints that we may not be the sole architects of our own destiny. So buckle up, dear listeners, as we embark on a journey through time and space, exploring the tantalizing possibility of alien architects. We'll delve into ancient myths, pore over archeological enigmas, and grapple with scientific puzzles, seeking answers to our cosmic origins. This is the journey we embark upon today. We invite you to open your minds, challenge your preconceptions, and join us on this voyage of discovery. Who knows what we might find? After all, our past, present and future may be far more intertwined with the stars than we ever imagined. In the ancient Sumerian civilization, we find the first seeds of this cosmic connection. Let's travel back in time, over 5,000 years ago, to the fertile crescent of Mesopotamia, where the Sumerians, one of the earliest civilizations, thrived. At the heart of their culture was a pantheon of deities, among them, the Anunnaki, a group of divine beings whose name translates to those who from the sky came. The Anunnaki were revered, feared, and worshipped. They were described in ancient cuneiform texts as powerful figures who descended from the heavens, possessing knowledge and abilities far beyond those of humans. But what if the Anunnaki were not mere myth? What if they were, as some theorists suggest, visitors from another world? The Sumerians were pioneers in many fields, from agriculture and irrigation to mathematics and astronomy. They developed the first known form of writing and established complex social and economic systems. But how did such a civilization, at the dawn of human history, achieve such advancements? Could it be that these leaps in knowledge were not the product of human ingenuity alone, but the result of extraterrestrial intervention? Some researchers point to the intricate details found in the Sumerian texts that describe the Anunnaki. They were said to have traveled to Earth in search of resources, especially gold, which they needed to save their own dying planet. These texts even recount how the Anunnaki created human beings to work as their laborers. This narrative, fascinating as it is, sounds more like a science fiction tale than ancient mythology. However, it is within these unlikely details that theorists see evidence of a prehistoric encounter with extraterrestrial beings. They argue that the Anunnaki were not gods in the spiritual sense, but advanced beings from another planet who were misunderstood and deified by our ancestors. If we entertain this theory, it opens up a whole new perspective on human history. The Anunnaki imparted their knowledge to the Sumerians, teaching them about agriculture, helping them tame the wild wheat, showing them how to build canals for irrigation, and introducing them to the concept of the wheel. They shared the secrets of the stars, paving the way for the Sumerians to develop advanced astronomy. The Anunnaki's influence wasn't limited to practical knowledge. They also shaped the spiritual and cultural aspects of Sumerian society. They were central figures in their law, their festivals, their moral codes. They were the catalysts that sparked the birth of civilization as we know it. 
But if these visitors truly existed, where did they come from? According to the ancient texts, the Anunnaki hailed from a planet called Nibiru, also known as Planet X, which is said to orbit our sun every 3,600 years. Could it be that there exists in our very solar system a planet yet undiscovered by modern science that harbors life? Of course, these theories, while compelling, are not without controversy. Mainstream historians and archaeologists argue that the Anunnaki are purely mythological figures and that Sumerian advancements can be explained by natural human progress. The existence of Nibiru too is widely disputed, with no scientific evidence to support its existence. Yet the believers stand firm, pointing to the remarkable accuracy of Sumerian astronomy, the complexity of their social systems and the sudden leaps in technology that seem to defy explanation. They argue that these are not mere coincidences but clues to a greater cosmic connection. So where does this leave us? The possibility of the Anunnaki being ancient astronauts remains a contentious topic, a fascinating hypothesis that treads the line between history and science fiction. Perhaps we may never know the truth. But one thing is for sure, the story of the Anunnaki invites us to look at our own history, our own achievements, with a sense of wonder and curiosity. The Anunnaki, those who from the sky came, may have left an indelible mark on human history, whether they were real beings or mythological figures. The legacy of the Anunnaki continues to intrigue us, to challenge our understanding of our past, and to inspire questions about our place in this vast, cosmic tapestry. From the fertile crescent we travel to the sands of Egypt, where monumental enigmas await. Here the pyramids stand tall, their age-old stones whispering tales of a civilization that once flourished with unmatched grandeur. But have you ever stopped to wonder how could the ancient Egyptians with their primitive technology, have built such sophisticated geometric structures, aligning them with celestial bodies with a precision that stuns even the modern architects. The Great Pyramid of Giza, the last of the seven wonders of the ancient world that still exists, is a testament to this architectural marvel. Its alignment with the cardinal directions is so precise that it deviates by a mere three sixtieths of a degree. Such precision, some argue, would require a level of technological sophistication that seems beyond the reach of a civilization that existed over 4,000 years ago. And then there's the mystery of the pyramid's construction. Imagine, if you will, 2,300,000 blocks of stone, each weighing an average of two and a half tons, stacked up to form a structure that originally stood at 481 feet tall. The logistics of moving, cutting and placing these stones precisely is a challenge even today let alone in a time when the wheel was just being introduced. This conundrum has led some to look beyond our terrestrial boundaries for answers. Could it be, they ask, that these structures were not merely tombs for the pharaohs, but something more, something not of this earth? Enter the Watchers. In ancient texts, they are described as beings from the stars who descended upon earth to guide humanity. Some theorists propose that these Watchers, these alien architects, may have lent their extraterrestrial knowledge to the builders of Egypt, enabling them to construct these colossal monuments with such astronomical precision. But why would these alien architects help build such structures? Some theorists venture further down the rabbit hole, suggesting that the pyramids were not just feats of architectural prowess, but also served a greater purpose. One such theory suggests that the pyramids could have functioned as energy sources, the Great Pyramid in particular is built with large amounts of quartz, a mineral known to produce an electrical charge under pressure. This, combined with the pyramid's alignment with magnetic north, has led some to propose that it could have been designed to harness the Earth's magnetic field to generate power. Another theory posits that the pyramids could have served as communication devices. In fact, the Great Pyramid's alignment with Orion's belt is often cited as evidence for this theory. The three pyramids of Giza align perfectly with the three stars of Orion's belt, and it's suggested that this could have been a way to establish a cosmic link with extraterrestrial civilizations. But of course, these theories are not without their skeptics. Mainstream archaeologists maintain that the pyramids were built using human labor and simple yet effective tools. They argue that the alignment with celestial bodies was due to the ancient Egyptians' understanding of astronomy, not extraterrestrial influence. Yet the mystery persists, 
The pyramids continue to stand as enigmatic symbols of a past we are still striving to understand. And as we gaze upon these ancient wonders, we are left to ponder, did we, the children of Earth, construct these monumental edifices alone, or did we have help from the stars? As we delve deeper into this mystery, we can't help but wonder, were the ancient Egyptians the sole architects of their destiny, or were they guided by otherworldly visitors? Were they simply beneficiaries of cosmic knowledge, or were they part of a grand design, a cosmic blueprint laid out by the watchers from the stars? As we continue our exploration of the alien architects and their potential influence on human civilization, we are left with more questions than answers. But perhaps that's the beauty of it. The mystery keeps us searching, keeps us wondering, and keeps us looking up at the stars with a sense of awe and wonder. Could the watchers from the stars have been the true architects of Egypt's grandeur? We may never know for certain, but the possibility, the tantalizing allure of the unknown, continues to captivate our imagination, propelling us forward in our quest for understanding. And perhaps in that quest, we are not just uncovering the mysteries of our past, but also paving the way for our future. Our journey takes us next to West Africa, where a tribe holds knowledge that predates modern astronomy. Nestled in the arid landscapes of Mali, the Dogon tribe, a people rich in culture and tradition, hold a remarkable secret. Their ancient lore speaks of a star invisible to the naked eye, a star they call Po Tolo, what we know today as Sirius B. It's a white dwarf companion to the brightest star in our night sky, Sirius A. How, you may ask, did a tribe devoid of telescopes and modern astronomical equipment know of a star unseen to the naked eye? The answer, according to the Dogon, lies not on Earth, but in the cosmos, with a race of beings known as the Nomo. The Nomo, described in Dogon mythology as amphibious beings from the Sirius star system, are said to have visited the Earth thousands of years ago. They were no ordinary visitors. They were teachers, guides, and cultivators of wisdom who imparted the Dogon with advanced astronomical knowledge. Interestingly, the Nomo are depicted as fish-like creatures, echoing other ancient civilizations' depictions of their gods. The Sumerian god Enki, the Philistine god Dagon, even the Greek deity Triton, all share similar aquatic attributes. Could it be a coincidence, or does it hint at a common extraterrestrial origin? The Nomo are said to have taught the Dogon that Sirius was not a solitary star, but part of a binary system. They describe Sirius B's elliptical orbit around Sirius A, a fact only confirmed by modern science in the 20th century. Even more astonishing, they spoke of a third star, Sirius C, yet unconfirmed by astronomers today. Could there be truth yet to be unveiled in their teachings? The Dogon's understanding of the Sirius system goes beyond mere celestial mechanics. They see it as a cosmic map defining the cycles of life and death agriculture, and spiritual rites. To them, the knowledge passed down from the Nomo is not merely astronomical, but deeply intertwined with their very existence. The Dogon also tell of the Nomo's return. According to their law, the Nomo will revisit Earth, bringing a new cycle of knowledge and enlightenment. This prophecy, like their astronomical knowledge, casts a shadow of anticipation. If the past is any indication, the future they foretell may hold discoveries that defy our current understanding. Critics, of course, argue that the Dogon's knowledge of the Sirius system could be the result of cultural contamination, perhaps through contact with Western civilization. Yet this explanation seems insufficient when considering the complexity and precision of the Dogon's cosmology embedded in their culture long before the advent of modern astronomy. Moreover, the Dogon are not alone in their knowledge of Sirius. Ancient Egyptians revered Sirius as the goddess Sopdet, heralding the flooding of the Nile. The Greeks saw it as the fiery eye of the Carnis Major constellation. Across cultures and continents, Sirius holds a place of prominence, often associated with advanced knowledge, enlightenment, or divine intervention. Could these similarities be mere coincidences, or do they point towards a shared extraterrestrial influence? The Dogon and the Sirius mystery challenge our perception of human history and our place in the cosmos. They remind us that wisdom may come from the most unexpected sources and that our understanding of the universe is far from complete. Whether you believe in the Nomo as literal extraterrestrial beings or see them as symbolic representations of wisdom, one thing is clear, 
the Dogon tribe's deep-seated knowledge of the cosmos, passed down through generations, is a testament to humanity's enduring quest for understanding. It's a quest that transcends boundaries, cultures, and time, linking us all in the grand tapestry of cosmic exploration. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of our universe, the stories of the Dogon and the Nomo serve as a reminder of the vastness of the cosmos and the potential for life beyond our world. They beckon us to keep our minds open, to question, to explore, and to seek answers in the stars. The Dogon and the Sirius Mystery, another piece of the cosmic puzzle. But the influence of these celestial visitors may extend beyond knowledge and architecture. As we journey further into this realm of cosmic speculation, we find ourselves at the crossroads of science and the unknown. The theory we're about to discuss is one that shatters conventional boundaries and invites us into a world where the fabric of our very existence may have been woven by extraterrestrial hands. This is the theory of extraterrestrial genetic intervention. It's a controversial notion, suggesting that our evolution as a species, our leap towards sophisticated civilizations might not be entirely of this world. It posits that our DNA, the blueprint of life, may bear markers of otherworldly manipulation. Let's delve into this concept with the help of some eminent researchers in the field. Dr. Xavier Lumen, a geneticist and avid proponent of this theory, has been studying anomalies within the human genome. He points out certain genetic mutations that appear to have accelerated our evolution, pushing us from simple hominids to complex beings capable of abstract thought and creativity. These are not simple evolutionary leaps, Dr. Lumen explains, they are giant strides that seem to have occurred in the blink of an evolutionary eye. It's as though an external force has nudged our genetic code, fast-tracking our development. But what evidence is there to support such a radical claim? To answer this, we turn to archaeology. There exist artifacts and skeletal remains that defy conventional explanation. For instance, the elongated skulls found in regions like Paracas, Peru. These skulls, significantly larger and differently shaped than typical human skulls, have long been a subject of intrigue. While some argue these are the results of cranial deformation practices, others, like archaeologist Dr. Lena Sorensen, suggest a more extraordinary possibility. The cranial volume is up to 25% larger and 60% heavier than conventional human skulls, she states. This means they could not have been intentionally deformed through binding or flattening. They are a different species altogether. Could these skulls be evidence of a hybrid species? a fusion of human and alien genetics. The theory is tantalizing, and while it remains on the fringe of mainstream science, the questions it raises about our origins are too compelling to ignore. Another intriguing piece of the puzzle comes from our closest genetic relatives, the Neanderthals. Recent studies have revealed that modern humans share about 2% of our DNA with Neanderthals, suggesting interbreeding between the two species. But what if this interbreeding wasn't just between humans and Neanderthals? Could it have involved an extraterrestrial third party? Dr. Lumen seems to think so. There's a sequence in the human genome, he says, that's absent in our primate relatives. It's a gene that plays a crucial role in brain development. This gene might be a gift from our celestial benefactors, an upgrade to the human model, if you will. The idea of extraterrestrial genetic intervention also offers an explanation for the so-called junk DNA in our genome. This is DNA that doesn't seem to code for anything, a sort of genetic white noise. But what if this junk is not noise at all, but a message or a dormant code waiting to be activated? It's a wild thought, one that takes us into the realm of science fiction. But remember, today's science fiction often becomes tomorrow's science fact. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of our genome and explore the cosmos, we may stumble upon answers that are stranger than we dared to imagine. The theory of extraterrestrial genetic intervention is just that, a theory. It's an idea that challenges our understanding of ourselves and our place in the cosmos. It forces us to look at our reflection and ask, who are we? Are we the sole products of earthbound evolution? Or are we, in some part, the children of the stars? The evidence is circumstantial, the debate ongoing. But one thing is certain, the question of our origins is far from settled. As we gaze upon the stars, we must entertain the possibility that they gaze back, that our past, our present and our future are intertwined with entities beyond our world. Are we, in part, the children of the stars? 
This question, as unsettling as it is compelling, may hold the key to understanding our true origins, our true potential, and ultimately our destiny. The answers lie in the stars, in our DNA, and in the relentless pursuit of knowledge. As we continue our cosmic journey, we may yet uncover the truth about our alien architects and their role in shaping the human story. The implications of these theories are profound and far-reaching. As we've journeyed through history, we've discovered tantalizing hints of alien architects, beings from the cosmos who may have shaped the trajectory of human civilization. But the question remains, what if these celestial engineers haven't left us for good? What if they're still here, silently observing, subtly guiding? Consider the Anunnaki, those who from the sky came. Might they have left more than just knowledge and civilization in their wake? Could they have left behind unseen observers, celestial caretakers ensuring their legacy endures? Or perhaps they're waiting, biding their time to return when we've reached a certain level of technological or societal advancement. In Egypt, the pyramids stand, their secrets locked within. But what if these aren't just relics of an ancient civilization, but active conduits connecting us to the watchers, the alleged alien architects who guided their construction? Could these monumental structures serve as beacons, signaling our readiness for their return? And what of the Dogon? They carry knowledge of the Sirius star system that predates modern astronomy. This wisdom, gifted by the Nomo, a fish-like race from Sirius, seems to suggest a continuing connection. Could the Nomo still be teaching us, whispering cosmic secrets in the ears of those willing to listen? The potential influence of these alien architects extends beyond our past and present. It reaches into the very fabric of our future. If the theories hold true, if we were indeed guided by extraterrestrial beings, then our fate, our destiny, might still be intertwined with the stars. Consider the possibility of direct genetic intervention, the potential hybridization of human and alien. If such a connection exists, could it mean we are not just recipients of extraterrestrial knowledge, but kin? Could we in some distant future become the architects, the shapers of civilizations on distant worlds? Our world, our society, our very selves could be part of a grand cosmic design, a tapestry woven by alien hands. If this is so, then every advancement, every discovery, every step we take towards understanding our universe could be a step towards our celestial benefactors, a step towards a reunion with our alien architects. And yet, even as we contemplate these possibilities, we must tread with caution. For while the prospect of extraterrestrial guidance is fascinating, it must not overshadow the achievements and the potential of humanity. We are, after all, the children of Earth, the product of millennia of evolution and adaptation, of struggle and triumph. As we stand on the precipice of the cosmos, gazing into the star-studded abyss, we must remember that whether guided by alien architects or shaped by the hands of time, we are the masters of our destiny. We have the power to shape our future, to reach for the stars, and to carve our own path in the grand tapestry of the cosmos. And so we return to the cosmos, to the cradle of civilization. We look to the stars, not just as distant suns, but as the homes of potential guides, teachers and kin. Our destiny may be written in the stars by architects not of this world. As we gaze into the future, what might we find? Picture this, a universe teeming with life, where civilizations, far more advanced than ours, are exploring, communicating, and perhaps shaping the destinies of younger species. A vast cosmic tapestry where the threads of countless life forms intertwine and weave a narrative of shared destiny. In the coming years, our space missions will venture deeper into the cosmos. We will probe the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn, where subterranean oceans could harbor life. We will reach for distant exoplanets, circling stars light years away, and seek signs of life in their atmospheres. These missions might bring us face to face with the reality of extraterrestrial life, a reality that could redefine our understanding of our place in the universe. Picture Mars, once thought barren, now a focus of intense study. As we scratch beneath its surface, might we find the remnants of an ancient civilization? Or perhaps traces of primitive life forms, a testament that life could flourish even in the harshest of environments? Imagine the far reaches of the cosmos where civilizations might have evolved for billions of years, reaching technological heights we can only dream of. 
Could they have discovered the secret to interstellar travel, mastered the manipulation of space-time, or even found a way to cheat death itself? Now let's take a step further. What if these advanced civilizations, these alien architects, have been observing us, guiding us, even now? Could they be subtly steering the course of our evolution, our culture, our technology, just as they might have done in the past? In this grand cosmic tapestry, every star could be a sun to someone, every galaxy a playground of possibilities. And as we reach for the stars, we might find that we are not alone, that we are part of a vast interconnected network of life bound by the laws of physics and perhaps a shared destiny. In this cosmic tapestry, we may find the threads of our own destiny woven by alien architects. So as we continue our journey, let's keep our minds open to the wonders that await us in the cosmos and the mysteries that are yet to unfold.